Nicola Sturgeon has accused Alex Salmon of spreading a dangerous conspiracy theory after her government censored his testimony accusing her of lying to the Scottish Parliament. The First Minister said her former political mentor now preferred spreading allegations without subjecting them to scrutiny after he yesterday pulled out of an appearance before an inquiry. Mr Sturgeon said maybe he found creating an alternative reality where she, the SNP, the Crown Office, the police and the women who accused him of sexual assault were all part of some wild conspiracy easier to accept than the idea his own behavior was the root of the problem. She also denied having any influence over the Crown Office's decision to request that his statement be redacted as her government faces growing accusations of corruption. Civil servants have so far refused to explain why they censored the most explosive 474 words of Alex Salmon's testimony that could force the SNP leader to resign. Politicians said the separation of power between prosecutors, the civil service and the SNP had become indistinguishable and Scotland's public institutions were allowing themselves to be used for political purposes. The fury is focused on a decision by the Scottish Parliament to redact Mr Salmon's written testimony against Ms Sturgeon after a request from prosecutors at the Crown Office, just a day before he was due to give evidence to an inquiry in person. Ms Sturgeon said the decision to censor Mr Salmon's evidence was not forced by the government and was taken independently by the Crown Office. She said, any suggestion, any at all, that these are in any way politically influenced are downright wrong. I would suggest they go further than that, that they actually start to buy into what is a false and quite dangerous conspiracy theory that has no basis in fact. She said of Mr. Salmond, make whatever claims he wants to make, say whatever he wants to say, and bring whatever evidence he thinks he has there. There was no conspiracy theory and I sometimes think that the preference perhaps of Mr. Salmond is to continue to make those claims without ever subjecting them to the proper scrutiny of the parliamentary committee looking into them. She added, maybe creating an alternative reality in which the organs of the state not just me and the SNP, and the civil service and the crown office and the police and the women who came forward were all part of some wild conspiracy against him for reasons I can't explain. Maybe that's easier than accepting that at the root of this might just have been issues in his own behavior. But that's for him to explain if he ever decides to pitch up and sit in front of the committee. It comes as MSPs and Mr. Salmon call for the Lord Advocate, the government's chief legal officer, to appear before Parliament to explain why the evidence that has the potential to damage Sturgeon has been censored but were repeatedly refused. Parliament chose to censor the most explosive 474 words of Salmon's testimony, which accused the First Minister of lying to Parliament about her knowledge of an investigation into sexual assault allegations against Mr. Salmon. If she is proven to have lied she could be forced to resign, yet the censors left thousands of words of Mr. Salmon's testimony that do not implicate Ms. Sturgeon untouched. The warning raises the prospect Mr. Salmon could be prosecuted for contempt of court if he discusses the allegations at the Holyrood inquiry and he last night pulled out of appearing because he says the curbs on his evidence would make it impossible for him to address MSPs. Crown Office prosecutors claim the redacted testimony risks enabling readers to piece together the identity of his sexual assault accusers, but the Scottish High Court previously ruled it does not risk jigsaw identification and the document has been public for two weeks. Tory MSP Miles Briggs slammed the SNP as a cesspit of vipers not fit for government while party leader Douglas Ross said, the stench of a cover-up is overwhelming. The SNP government and the Crown Office are shutting down scrutiny. Meanwhile, former honorary professor at Glasgow University School of Law Alastair Bonington branded the move a degeneration of the crown into what appears to be a lickspittle arm of the current SNP government.